I met Paul Alter during that time. Um, well, I had known him uh, before at Yale. I met him uh, one night at a at a Equity Library Theater uh, show someplace. And I said, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm working at Man Against Crime. And um, I said, what is that? He told me. And he said, you want to try to write a script for us? I said, sure. So he lived in New Rochelle. And I got an idea for a script. I told him about it. And I wrote a first draft. I sent it to him. He called me on the phone. We talked about it. He practically half wrote the thing. So I finally got it in shape. I gave it to him. And... They, and they bought it. Now, the name of that script, it was a 30-minute script. Man Against Crime. You remember that thing? And the name of my, the name of my script was The Polecat Shakedown. <laughs> and it was a guy who, who, who uh, put a hole in an egg and drained out the egg and put some kind of uh, awful smelling noxious liquid in the egg and sealed it and then put it in with the eggs in a short order cafe see to to uh, shake down the owner and the owner would break this thing and boom and everybody go oh my god and run out of the place after that happened a couple of times he started paying uh, the guy to not do it anymore um, Anyway, that was the first thing. I got 750 bucks for it, and I said to my wife, I'm quitting my job. I am now a professional writer. Just one question <laughs> about the script. Wasn't it, it was an agency-run show, right? The SD agency? Yes, the SD agency. Weren't there rules uh, because of the sponsor of the show that you had to follow? Oh, yeah, oh, sure. You couldn't, have a, you couldn't have the bad guys smoke a cigarette. The bad guys all smoke cigars, and the good guys smoke cigarettes. In fact, everybody smoked cigarettes. Because it was a camel show, see, and, and and you know everybody was puffing away on cigarettes all the time, unless it was a bad guy, and, he, and they smoked cigars. <laughs>